How is it going everybody? It is Ben Angla and I am walking very fastidiously towards the Apple store to pick up the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm trading in the iPhone 13 Pro for the 14 Pro. I'm getting the purple one. So yeah, almost at the Apple store. Let's go. So as expected, there was a pretty good amount of people waiting there to get their new iPhone 14s. And what I finally got in, an Apple Store employee actually volunteered to film me for this video. 14 Pro, 512 gigabytes, deep purple. I'm excited. All right. Unboxing filmed by the Apple Store employee. Ooh, y'all. Deep purple. Ooh, that is nice. First impressions, that is really nice. It's supposed to be a sound effect. <laughs> okay, 14 Pro right here, deep purple. This is the 13 Pro in Sierra Blue size comparison. They look pretty similar. 14 Pro feels a little bit heavier. It's beautiful. It's freaking gorgeous. This deep purple, I'm really glad I got this one. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Setting the new phone up was super fun and really easy. It took about 20 minutes to transfer the data from my 13 Pro to the 14 Pro. And then once I was in, I noticed just how different the 14 Pro looks on the front, where you see the new dynamic island versus the notch on the 13 Pro. Down with the notch, I am not gonna miss that one bit. All right, y'all, I got it. I'm shooting on the 14 Pro, deep purple, 512 gigabytes. This is the selfie camera, obviously. It's supposed to have autofocus, supposed to be a little bit better quality. Looking at the preview screen, it looks pretty similar to the 13 Pro. HDR doing its thing. I think it's actually the same version of HDR, so the clouds look nice and sharp. But yeah, let's go around and shoot some stuff, try this camera out, and do some vlogging. Now we're checking out the video stabilization, which was already amazing on the 13 Pro. Looks pretty good as well on the 14 Pro. I don't know, it's gonna be a little tough to tell the difference between the two because I just gave them my 13 Pro. I no longer have it. Also, if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Subscribe down below, smash the like button, helps me out. Now let's go to the 0.5, the ultra wide lens. Nice clear view. This is one times, two times zoom, three times zoom. That's pretty impressive. And now I'm shooting using cinematic mode. So the background looks a little bit blurrier. All right, now we got cinematic mode on the selfie camera, front-facing camera. Now cinematic mode shoots in 24 frames per second, 4K, which is, you know, the standard for Hollywood or, you know, cinematic video or whatever. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. How's the background blur doing? I can't see anything because the screen is like grayed out. Super hot outside still here. But overall, I thought the HDR is doing a pretty good job considering this is like midday with the sun just blaring down, just ultra bright. The sky is nice and blue and colors look really, really nice. The dynamic range is really impressive per Apple. I mean, their cameras don't really disappoint. The 13 Pro did not disappoint in that way at all. And these shots just look really, really nice. So the next stop in my 14 Pro mini vlog adventure was a store called Kicking It. And they have a bunch of really cool streetwear and a ton of shoes that are just pure eye candy. And this shot of this shoe just really kind of blew me away, just how balanced everything looks. The background blur looks really natural. Like this is a really impressive shot. I'm also noticing in these shots that the white balance, the auto white balance just seems to be doing a really good job on the 14 Pro overall. Sometimes iPhone cameras will lean towards the cool or the warm and just the default settings in the camera app make things look pretty natural overall. All right, so 14 Pro, first impressions of the camera, the overall phone. The weight feels actually a little bit more than the 13 Pro, like noticeably heavier, but the 13 Pro was already heavy. I don't know, I got used to it after the 11 Pro. The quality looks very similar. I don't notice a huge difference with like outdoor photos and videos, honestly, but the phone is fast. It definitely is overheating already, just shooting in the sun. Like the screen has dimmed a lot, you know, just shooting in the sun and testing the camera and everything. I guess it's overloading the processor, but it's still really fast. Avery. Well, hello. <laughs> oh my God, I love this quality. Yeah, what this do you think great. of the new iPhone compared to your 13 Pro? It's honestly popping. It's way better quality than mine, oh, even though right. I literally just got my phone. <laughs> Are you gonna get a new one? <laughs> you know, knowing me, probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Looks good. Check out these photos that we just took of Avery too, because that portrait mode one, 
fire. It was fire. It looked like it was taken with like a crazier camera. A professional camera. camera. Yeah, yeah, like a dedicated DSLR. Kind of crazy. Wow. All I'm right. like shook by this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little shook too, to be honest. It's good to see you. Also, y'all check out how smooth these videos look with no gimbal. It's kind of insane. And even more importantly, check out this really cute French bulldog. <laughs> Hello, this is Libby, right? Hello, like, my name is Libby, yes. Randomly walking through Nordstrom and I was like, what is this fit? The rifted handkerchief. I love it. Little overalls. The and color then, coordination. I appreciate it. I'm trying to go with some Polly Pocket realness. <laughs> I love it. Both of these shots were taken using portrait mode. What do y'all think? Okay, so Livy is rocking which phone? The 8 Plus. The iPhone 8 Plus in 2022. How has it held up? Tell me about it. I've had this since I turned 17. Okay. And I haven't had a crack in it. I've had the same case on since. It's literally untouched. Amazing. People say it's kind of weird, but I'm waiting to get a new iPhone to get a new case. You know? <laughs> Are you going to upgrade Hopefully to the 14? Soon. The one that just came out? Hopefully. Okay. If your phone works for you, why That's upgrade? Exactly. That was so cool. That's one of my favorite things about vlogging. Just once you whip out the camera and you're like obviously outside filming or whatever, you just meet the most random people that are like, hey, can I be in your video? Oh my God, my car is so freaking filthy. Don't judge me. So all the times that I've bragged about how careful I am with my phones, y'all, I just freaking dropped my 11 Pro on the concrete outside of my car just trying to get into my own damn car and check out this new crack and there's a freaking hairline crack throughout the front screen. I can still use it and it's not like a huge deal, but oh, that's so freaking unfortunate, a cracked phone, <laughs> no. <laughs> so I wanna head downtown, but it's the middle of rush hour. I'm not trying to drive through that mess. So I plugged my car in behind here and I'm just gonna head to Whole Foods for a little while, maybe get a beverage, a light snack. And obviously by light snack, I meant pizza, which was kind of spontaneous. And I stopped to just kind of take a break and enjoy the view from the second floor. I also think these photos came out so well, but this photo came out really amazing. Like it just looks so sharp and unreal. All right, so I ate the pizza, important life update. And now I'm going to unplug my car and head downtown now that the traffic has kind of chilled out a little bit, hopefully. But yeah, let's head downtown and check out a really cool fashion shop. I think y'all are gonna like it. Y'all, how's it going? <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's your name? My name is Justin. Justin here. I'm a visual artist based in Austin, stationed here at Young Studios. Uh, some of my work, you can find it on my website. It's some prints that I've printed myself. Yeah, I help run the store as well as run Camping Studios, a music studio that's upstairs at Young Studios. Uh, I'd love to show you at actually the music studio. So yeah, let's out. check it out. This is like MTV Cribs. Yeah, Make all kinds of heat in here, all kinds of bangers. We have about like maybe six different engineers. Uh, Par and Short are the owners. Boom. And Short is short for Short Life. I'ma put it all away. I'ma put it past me. Yeah, he's outside, uh, right out front. Maybe we can go say hi to him. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You look like you're posing for like a band photo. Right. You're like a hardcore band from the Bay Area <laughs> or something. Band. <laughs> we got heaven here. Got you know. We got dogs too. A little boot. Heaven? Yeah, heaven. Aww. Little booty boo. Right, young. Right here. Oh, so cute. <laughs> There's mad mosquitoes here. I can I can sense it. Nice. Yeah. They've like nice. found us. Yeah, it's Texas. You know what it is. Oh Texas my god. Like Do y'all like Texas? Yeah, I fuck with Texas. It's close to home, close to Monterrey. Close yeah, to we're Mexico. from Mexico, so. Yes. It's just really? nice and close to the city. city. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the barrio. It's the barrio. We are in the barrio. Hey. Right we standing strong. The drippiest in Austin. The drippiest in Austin. So anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments about this iPhone 14 Pro footage. I think it looks fantastic, but I also think the photo quality is really good. The battery life was pretty decent. I'm also really curious to check out the audio quality from the mics. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, subscribe down below. Add me on social media at B3NAQUA. Hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one.